hi beautiful and amazing people welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is amito mitra and i am speaking right from kampala uganda east africa for those of you watching me for the very first time you're most welcome kindly be a part of this very beautiful humble and amazing family by subscribing to my channel and also make it a point to like this video and all other videos that you'll come across on this channel otherwise i hope you guys are doing great and i hope that god is protecting all of you in today's video i'm going to meet a sudanese youtuber who is based in the uk and is currently in uganda he reached out to me about four days ago but um i was so busy my mom was sick so i could not meet him fortunately i ended up meeting him yesterday we had a cup of tea and then today we are going to meet again to shoot a video so i want to take you guys through whatever we are going to do today i'm hoping that whatever we're going to do today will motivate you uh, you learn something from it and you'll also enjoy the vlog otherwise uh, i'm late already it's an afternoon here in kampala uganda so let's go and catch up and i'll get back to you guys later stay here don't go anywhere Could be alone, never far from as far as we go through the darkest night hope it brings you peace of mind i know we'll be that is Yusef. <laughs> Hi, Yusef. How are you? You see, I saw you from afar. How are you? My people want to say hi to you, so you should say hi to them. I'm tired. I'm sitting here like two hours. Two hours, you're lying. Just an hour. So, um, this is Yusef, guys. He is our Sudanese content creator based in the UK like I told you guys and is here in Uganda currently we are going to visit one of the slums in Kampala um, it's called Katanga Katanga slum yes we just want to go and see the way of life of people there but Yusef brought the idea of us going to the slum despite the fact that he doesn't know which slum we are going to he brought the idea so I wanted to ask you Yusef why slum why because this kind of life is represent, represent me, you know, okay. like, I know this kind of life, I used to live in this, like, slums, yeah. you know. You grew up in a slum? Yeah. In Sudan? Yes. Halt? It's not slums, but, but this is camps, you know, like, oh, the camp. downs, you Which know? one? Uh, this is in Darfur. Darfur. Yeah, in Darfur. Okay. So, this kind of uh, place is nice. similar to camps, you know. Yes, the way of so, life of a yeah, camp. the way okay. of life, yeah, so. I want to see the life here. Okay. Yeah. Well, your wish is my command. So you guys, I'm taking him to the slum right about now and let's see how it goes. See you guys later. Baby come and furnish I've ever to my life refurbish I'll do lots of clutter bumper burns So it works in never ending surface Yeah It's the way you call him a one no end, no end. It's the way you call him a mutemuand. So we are finally in the slum. We are heading towards the office of the LC chairperson to get permission to move around and talk to these people because it is illegal for us to just storm houses without having to talk to the people in authority to let us talk to these people. So here he is. He gave us permission to move around and yeah. Yes. So guys, we are in Katanga trying to move around, getting a few children. We have we want to get like 10 children, go buy for them some food. Uh, yeah, and, and make them happy. That is what we are doing. It's the process we are going through right now. I'm actually surprised because mm -hmm. I don't know how they live living here. Mm -hmm. And you know, it didn't even rain. Now imagine if it had rained. Yeah. It would, this would have been terrible. Okay. Mm. Yep. Okay then. people know they are streets, <laughs> I will call you a pioneer 
this here that I feel so strong. You discovered there's a heart here, been empty for all、oh, so long. So baby, come and furnish. I've ever to my life refurbished. I do lots of clutter, bumper burns. So it works a never-ending surface. Yeah, it's the way you call it, my motherland. No end, no end. It's the way you call it, my motherland. No end, no end. From the crown on my head to the soles of my shoes. Got my love for you is pure, landlord. I live with them on shore. So be comfortable. Come on, 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 come on,
Simbi la muko wano kusaidi. Kwa ni mwe yanzi. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm Bebaba de no mukisa. We are now escorting these children back to their homes to hand them over to their parents. We are hoping that this food brings a smile to their faces and also teaches them to give back to others who don't have, no matter how little it is. <laughs> So guys, it's a wrap. We are done with uh, what brought us here and we are so excited that we were able to at least feed 10 people and uh, yeah, we give glory back to God. We have left the ghetto and um, we're going to have dinner. It's currently 5 11 pm and we are at Tobani Center. For those of you who know where Tobani Center is, it's opposite Crown House, not far away from Uganda House. We are here having dinner. I'll be showing you how our dinner looks like and um, I hope we enjoy it. If it is nice, I'll let you guys know how nice it is and I'll definitely recommend this place to all of you guys. So let's eat. That's yours. Finally, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we're glad that uh, we spent the whole day with the children in the slum. Uh, there's a lot more that we did not capture, but we really had a good time talking to their parents, talking to the children, and we are happy that we made them happy.